Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's May 1st, 2020. Here are your latest church militant headlines. Pope Francis is helping transsexual prostitutes. With the lockdown, a group of transsexual sex workers living in Rome have been deprived of their income from prostitution. And after writing letters to the pontiff, were offered payment of their bills and rent, along with basic necessities by the Vatican. Catholic reaction has been divided, with some slamming the Pope for enabling their lifestyle, while others say his offer to help is not an approval of their immoral choices. Crosses are being torn off of Chinese churches. A Wednesday report is revealing local communist officials removed two crosses from the tops of Anhui Diocese churches. One parish was forced to hand over the church's keys to the local government on Monday, while on April 19th, a cross was removed as parishioners were mobbed by police forcing them from gathering and barring them from taking pictures under threat of arrest. A diocesan source claims the churches were registered with the government. Local CCP authorities denied any involvement in the activities. Church doors will be reopening in Texas. The Archdiocese of Galveston, Houston said in a Wednesday letter, they're beginning the first phase of loosened restrictions on its public mass ban. They're emphasizing social distancing during this process. Galveston Houston is joining the Diocese of Las Cruces, New Mexico, and both of Montana's dioceses in restoring the sacraments to the faithful. Facebook is increasing censorship of conservative voices. The Wall Street Journal is reporting that CEO Mark Zuckerberg is taking greater control of the social media platform, while at the same time cracking down on conservatives, including silencing populist Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro as well as taking down video of anti-lockdown rallies across the country, characterizing them as misinformation. The Me Too leader is defending Joe Biden, again. In a Wednesday op-ed, Alyssa Milano said that she's still supporting the former vice president despite credible sexual harassment allegations, writing, quote, he's a man I know, respect, and admire, and who I can't picture doing any of the things of which he's accused, close quote. She says this while expressing concern over the allegations and conceded that she might be wrong. Despite this, Milano's maintaining her belief of past sexual assault allegations against President Donald Trump and Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael talks about blue states bailout. God bless you.